Hello guys, it's Dale here. Before we go into today's analysis, I'd like to mention one thing, and the thing is a special Halloween sale that we are running on the Orderflow pack and the Elite pack. Uh, the Orderflow pack is available in here. If you click Orderflow here in the menu, then there's a video which explains everything that you can get with the Orderflow pack. The Orderflow is ideal for intraday traders, and the pack includes the Orderflow software, 12 hour video course on trading with the order flow and volume profile indicator. You can get it in here, as I was saying, if you click the order flow in the menu. The other pack is called the Elite Pack and you can get it if you click this trading course and tools button and scroll down a bit and this is it. This is the Elite Pack and the Elite Pack focuses on training to trade with a volume profile indicator which is ideal trading tool for intraday trading, but also for swing trading and planning your long-term investments. There's a video which you can watch. The video will show you everything that's included in the Elite Pack. In short, there's a video course on the volume profile trading, my personal trading levels, volume profile indicators, and couple of bonuses. At the top of that, both for the Elite Pack and the Overflow Pack, there is a free tech support, which means that our support will install the NinjaTrader 8 platform for you with all indicators, workspaces, connect you to data feed, and they'll do it for free, right? So that's the special sale we are currently running. And let me now switch over to the charts and do the trade analysis. So the first thing that I like to do is a recap of trades based on the analysis I sent you last week. Uh, first, I will talk about the Euro British Pound. We are looking at 30 minute chart. And what we had there last time were two shorts, this one and this one. The first one was based on those volumes. And right there, this was the reaction. The second one was based on those volumes and the reaction was a bit bigger in this one and it was right there. All right, so those were the two shorts we had on the Euro British Pound. Uh, the next pair, which I was talking about in the previous analysis, was the Australian dollar Swiss franc. So in here we had a short at 63.02 based on those volumes. In this case, the reaction came a little bit sooner five pips sooner and it was a strong reaction so it was best to avoid trading this level after this strong reaction which came a bit sooner if you are trading it then as you can see the price overshot the level and only afterwards there was the reaction all right so this one was a bit tricky trade i hope you guys were even able to avoid it after this reaction or if you didn't avoid it I hope your stop loss was wide enough to withstand this rotation above the level and then to take the profit in here. Now, the next pair we had was the ES. So in here we had heavy volume zone and this short level based on this heavy volume zone. The short was at 37.53 and right there, this was the reaction to it. All right, so this was a nice trade. I hope you guys were trading it. And by the way, there was also another prediction that I made on my website. I think I published this one on Wednesday. It was on the British pound. So let me just show you real quick. And it was long based on those heavy volumes right there. And this was the reaction. Right, so that was another analysis that I sent you in email and that I've already played out pretty nicely. So yeah, that's the recap of the past trades. And let's now talk about the new trading ideas. The first one will be on the SP500. So let me switch over to it and let me show you. So what you're looking at is the ES, which is features for the S&P 500. We are looking at a 30 minute chart and what I want to talk about here is this strong uptrend that took place on Friday. Now when there is a strong trend like this I want to see significant volume zones from which I later trade. In this case what I like here is this significant volume zone 
from which, as you can see, price continued to go upwards. So when there is a significant volume zone like this within an uptrend, it is telling us that buyers were adding to their long positions at those heavy volume zones and pushing the price upwards. By the way, that was also a significant volume zone in here. The price already made a reaction, not too strong one, but as you can see, there was a reaction nonetheless. And the next significant volume cluster that I like to trade is this one, which is beginning at 3701. So as I was saying, strong buyers were adding to their long positions in here. And when the price drops, to this level at some point in the future, it is likely that the buyers from here will want to push the price upwards from here again. All right, so that's why I think that this should work as a strong support. And what we need to do now is just wait for that pullback and take it from there. Now, the next trading idea is on the euro dollar. And this is actually a level which I published for members of my trading course. I published uh, this level yesterday with yesterday's update. And the support is at 0.9719. And it is based on a setup which I call rejection setup. With the rejection setup, what you want to see is rejection of lower or higher prices. In this case, it is a rejection of lower prices because the price was dropping swiftly downwards and then suddenly the price reversed and went upwards. What you want to see within such a rejection is significant volume zone. And it is very nicely visible in here. This is it. This is the volume cluster which you want to see. And by the way, this volume cluster is very nicely visible if you use my order flow indicator and look into this rejection with the order flow. It really stands out there on the order flow. And this is the place where buyers started to buy aggressively. They were buying everything the sellers had to sell. And eventually the sellers went out of fuel and buyers took over and started to push the price aggressively upwards. And this is the important place. Buyers reversed the price here and they were placing a lot of their longs in here. That's what we see on this volume cluster. So this should be an important zone for those buyers and they should defend it. So when there is a pullback, the buyers should start jumping in. They should become active again and they should push the price upwards from this zone again. All right, so this is rejection setup on the euro and the level from our members area, which I wanted to share with you. And let me now switch over to the last chart with the last trading idea. It will be the New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. And what I want to talk about in here is the support at 77.27 in here. By the way, there was also a rejection of low prices in here, the same one as on the euro, and also significant volume cluster in here. So this could prove to be a strong support. But what I prefer is trading this rejection setup only with majors, not with crosses. I'm having better results trading this one on majors. So that's why I don't have a printed support in here. It could work, but it is a bit more risky than trading this on the euro. Uh, the thing I want to talk about in here is this support at 77.27. And it is based on heavy volumes. This heavy volume zone, which took place before this strong uptrend started. This is volume accumulation setup another of my favorite volume profile setups. And it basically tells us that buyers were building up their long positions in here. And afterwards, those buyers manipulated the price to shoot upwards, right? And this is still important zone for those buyers because they placed a lot of their longs there. So when there's a pullback to this level at some point in the future, and it doesn't need to be today or tomorrow, it could be next week, but when there is a pullback to this support, then it is likely that there'll be a reaction. 
as those buyers will become active, they'll become active again, they'll start defending this important zone where they placed so many of their longs and they should try and push the price upwards from there again. All right, so that's the logic behind the volume accumulation setup and that's why I think that this should work as a strong support. All right, so that's about that. That's about the trading ideas. Before I wrap this video up, what I'd like to do is announce a winner of a contest we had last time. The price of the contest was a volume profile indicator for MetaTrader 4 platform. And right now on your screen, you see the name of the person who won in the contest. So congratulations to the winner. And what I'll do is I'll do another contest for the next week. The only thing that you need to do to participate in this contest is leave a comment below this video that I'll upload on YouTube. And next week, I'll randomly pick one person to win the volume profile indicator. All right, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time in some next video or in our members area. So until then, happy trading.